Jonathan Kraft here with HealingScarTissue.com. I got a question from a guy named James, and James asked, Jonathan, how long does it take to get rid of hernia scar tissue? How long does it take to go away once you've had a hernia surgery? James, thank you very much for your question. I do know something about this because I've had hernia surgery, my dad, my brothers, both of them, yeah, my grandpa. So I know something about hernia scars and hernia scarring, and so you've asked a good person. I would say that how long it takes to heal really depends on what they did when they worked on your hernia. There's a lot of different kinds of hernias, and there's a really common one. I don't know what kinds you had, but there's one called an inguinal scar or an inguinal hernia that actually happens at the base of the abdominal cavity and the intestine actually pushes out from the base of the abdominal cavity. This is the thing that they're checking for when they say, turn your head now, cough. That's what they're looking for, is that kind of hernia. And it's a very common thing in men. And a lot of times what they do to fix that is they'll actually take this mesh stuff and they'll put that mesh in your body. That's what they did with me. So they sew it into there and that's to prevent your intestine from pushing through the floor of your abdominal cavity. Now that's going to sound pretty disgusting to some people, but that's just what it is. And I have that mesh living in me, right? Not living. It's not a living tissue, but it's in me right now. And most people who have a hernia surgery will have that kind of thing in their body. Now what's crazy is a lot of people will have that put into their body and they won't even know that that's what happened during the surgery. The doctor will say, hey, you've got to have hernia surgery. We're going to fix it. What are you going to do? Well, we're going to fix it by blah, blah, blah. That's what most people hear. Not most people, but a lot of people will hear blah right? When the doctor goes into what the actual process is, which is crazy to me. You're letting them cut into your body to fix something and you don't even know what they're going to do while they're in there. Anyway, that's a whole other topic. How long does it take for a hernia scar or a hernia surgery to heal? And that's really going to depend on you and also going to depend on what has been done during the surgery. There are things that you can do to help improve that. And so I'm going to go through a couple of those here. But generally speaking, my weird pains that I got, so they put this mesh in you and the mesh is cut and there's little pieces of the mesh that are around the outside that are part of it that actually are now going into different parts of your body at your lower abdominal level. So for me, and this may be the case for you as well, you can be walking along and then just suddenly one of those things pokes you and it's like, oh, wow, what was that? I don't even know. That's... The strangest feeling I've probably ever had in my whole life. That was very weird because something inside of you was poking you in a way that it's poking you from the inside, which just feels weird. So what I recommend uh, to do to improve the time for your healing, for me, it took about a year before I stopped getting those weird feelings. But a couple of things you can do to improve the healing. One is to actually press after you've been out of hernia surgery for three or four weeks is to start pressing around in the area. I'm doing that right now, funny. <laughs> you can't see that, but I'm doing that. Is to press around wherever the surgery took place and just feel what it feels like, wherever that mesh is in your body. Feel what that feels like in there and see where it's feeling weird. Get used to it. It's a new part of you for the rest of your life. So get used to it and start working around with it and just feeling it, physically feeling it and seeing what you can discover about it and seeing if there's areas that you think maybe you should work on or move around a little bit, manipulate a little bit. And then the other thing I would recommend is nutrition and a lot of things that I would recommend in nutrition really sum up in the idea of make your body a little more alkaline and make your body a little less acidic. Things that make your body acidic are sugars, uh, carbs, most of the processed food that most Americans eat and so what I would recommend, most of the Western world really, what I would recommend is uh, lots of green leafy stuff and just make that a new part of your diet. You don't have to get rid of the old stuff if you like Coke and whatever. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to anything dramatic and get rid of it because then you're just going to crave it. What I would do instead is just add on a ridiculous amount of green leafy stuff. Whatever green leafy thing that you can eat that you like, that's like lettuce, lettuce vegetable, but not like Something that's actually dark green and leafy, not like uh, iceberg lettuce isn't really green leafy. I would go with something dark green and leafy that you'll like. So asparagus, even, uh, even asparagus, but like kale, arugula, spinach, 
things like that that actually have a good green leafiness to them. And just add those into your diet extra. Add more into your diet so you don't have to change what you're doing. Just add that on top and get more of the nutrients and vitamins that you need for your body to build whatever it needs to build. The side benefit of that is that as you bake your body more alkaline, you crave sugars and acidic foods less. So you actually start to get more into shape and, and eating healthier food and actually start craving healthier food. But that would be my recommendation. Start feeling around in the area physically and eat more green leafy stuff. And then as far as working on the scar tissue, we have a lot of tips, tricks, suggestions within the healing scar tissue system. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can come and visit us at healingscartissue.com. That's H-E-A-L-I-N-G scar tissue, S-C-A-R-T-I-S-S-U-E, healingscartissue.com. And thank you very much for taking a few minutes to watch this video. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about healing your own hernia scars.